Hi, this is Sue Greenwald here with Awakened Stories. I'm here today with Deanna Carr with the Mystical Moonlight. Hey, Deanna, how are you? I'm good today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So we weren't really sure what we were supposed to talk about, and I just got the message Merlin. So we're going to talk about Merlin, King Arthur, and all the other characters we've heard about in that um interesting drama way back when and find out what they really were like and what they did and it might not happen in one video so that's cool right yeah yes so let's talk about merlin um in the legends he was an old wizard you know we always think of the pointy hat and the beard he lived in a cave he was magic and um he assisted King Arthur in becoming king, and he manipulated things so that Arthur would become king. Was any of that true? Some of it was, but he didn't really do manipulation. He was trying to, you know, use his powers um, to help the population. Um, but magic back then wasn't really a good thing. Um, it was you know, negative. Um, so it was harder for him to use his power. So he would go in different ways to use his magic. So um, he wasn't necessarily, you know, just old when he had his power, and that's the way we perceive it. But he was younger, and um, he would put on these enchantments so people didn't know specifically who he was because there was a risk of you know his death so he would do things to make people believe he looked one way when he really wasn't i'm smiling because i've just, i've come across somebody that does the same thing now yeah they interest and that's going to come out and we'll talk about it at that point so basically when merlin was born did he have magic powers or were these powers really magic or was he just really tuned into what the abilities of a natural human are? He was really tuned in. So a lot of us actually have mystical powers. Uh, we just aren't tuned in. So, you know, back then it was more common to have, you know, witch-like or wizard-like powers where some people actually knew how to manipulate and use them. Um, but it was, you know, negative. So you had to do it secretively. Um, so he saw his powers to help people, to make, you know, people better, to make the situation better, because it wasn't really a great time. Um, there was a lot of negative things happening, a lot of hunger, you know, most of what we hear in the stories was pretty accurate, um, but he just wanted to use it to help benefit people, to make their lives easier. Um, so he did what he thought he had to, to make sure that could happen. Okay. So when he, he was born, he was very tuned in, we'll say. And yeah. he kept that private for the most part of his life so that he would survive. And he probably had a curious mind and a scientific bent as well, where the average person at that time was just like in survival mode. They weren't educated. They were just trying to eat and live. Yeah. So he, I mean, he, there was still survival mode, but he had that entunement where he could use it to help benefit his life. Now, there's some things that, you know, you can't do to really benefit from but he would do the best he could to help himself and then help others around him secret secretively as much as possible okay so what kind of abilities would you say he had like can you can you pinpoint that? i mean he was a wizard i mean what abilities don't you have um you as long as there's balance you can pretty much do whatever yeah as long as you're not fully using it to the just benefit yourself. Right. I mean, that's usually one of the common things within our will when you have these powers is um, you have to use it for the good or you become to the dark side. Um, you have to, you know, help others. There's, there's certain things that you do to make sure that you're on, you know, the good side of that will. Mm -hmm. Um so, I mean, he could pretty much do whatever once he learned how to manipulate his magic um, to benefit others. So 
there, there really isn't too much limitation. And that's where you kind of have to understand a little bit of magic to fully comprehend, like, you know, sometimes when we hear like, you could do a lot with magic, you really can, as long as it's to benefit others. So, so let's define it here. Magic in this case is really energy manipulation. So he can create yeah. something out of, we'll call it thin air. So he's taking energy and just changing its format. Would that be a good exactly. way? To, okay. Yeah. So this is where you can get into, I mean, magic is pretty much the, the movement of elements and atoms. So once we get into the definition of how to manipulate atoms, you can manipulate in any way possible. Um, just we put verbs and sayings onto it so that way we know what we're doing yeah well you know the way a lot of people think is you've got to have a wand right and then yes. you've got to have a spell so you have to say words like incantation or whatever mm -hmm. is any of that true in this case okay no. so you can once, you, once you get to a certain point you don't need any of that like i said in a previous video we just you know, associate wands and words with certain things so that our common brain can handle it. Right. Because um, not everybody can understand that you don't need that stuff. It's just, we need it at first to understand how to manipulate and how to work with the elements. Right. Cool. All right. So he had the ability to disguise his appearance as well. So yeah. he could look any way he wanted. So that way he couldn't really be captured or pursued or killed in that way. Yeah. So it's pretty much disguised, kind of like just like Superman. He has normal life. Just when he needs to use magic, he uses a different identity. So that way he's safe. Super cool. Super cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So in this story... Um, we're taught that, you know, he's, he lives alone, he studies, he does scientific experiment, he's trying to um, come up with how to make gold out of lead, you know, use mm -hmm. alchemy and blah, blah, blah. And then he sees what's happening politically in England, okay, so then he helps um, orchestrate the birth of Arthur, who will become king. And there's a lot of trickery and deceit and all these plans that have to be put in place. Is that kind of thing true? No, not all of that's true. Okay. He, our, our Arthur was brought into the play because he, he had the ability to be good, to see that there was negative things happening to the people and how to actually help them. So Merlin, he didn't necessarily manipulate or change the course of time. He just helped promote that net that right. is the better part of Arthur. Okay, super cool. Super cool answer. Would you agree that there was like maybe a, we'll call it a secret society at that time, but it was to preserve ancient knowledge and artifacts? Of course, I and mean, there's always been a secret society throughout every history that preserves secret facts and all that. They think that the common person can't handle it, so they right. keep it as hidden as possible, but really they just use it to manipulate and project what they want. Yeah, and would you agree that Arthur was a member of that society? He was and he wasn't. It was... He was part of it because he had to be. When you're, you know, a high authority, you mm -hmm. have certain standards you have to meet or they're actually going to get rid of you. Right. Um, so there's certain things he had to portray as, you know, this is what I want to do um, just to get by to make a difference. Okay. Um, so he was part of it, but he didn't agree with it. So later on, he tried to change it. And that's why he was killed. Yes. So his friends actually killed him. All right. Yeah. So the story goes that he was killed in battle by his own son. Okay. Um, so that's the legend. But he was actually killed by a group of friends that um, killed him and tortured him to get the secrets of some of these artifacts and other things like that. And he yeah. kept the secret, but he lost his life eventually. Would you agree with that? Yes. Okay. All right. 
So we've got that show out there, which I love. Um, that was maybe, uh, it's maybe 10, 15 years old. It started out a little cheesy, the, adventure, the Adventures of Merlin. And it starts out a little cheesy and then they get a bigger budget and they do maybe five seasons. But it portrays Merlin as a young boy that has magical powers. And he, um, his mission is to save Arthur and to protect him, which he secretly uses magic because at that point, magic is outlawed. So Arthur yeah. never knows that he's um, got magical powers or that he's there to protect him until the last yeah. freaking episode. It was heart-wrenching. Yeah. Is that true that Arthur didn't know that Merlin had magical powers? Yeah, he, did, he didn't know. Yeah. He kept it as secret as possible. I mean, there was probably some inkling yeah. that there is something else. But for the most part, no, he did not know. Okay. Well, in that show, Merlin is a boy. He's let, Let's just say he's 20-ish. And at the end of the show... They fast forward to modern times and he's there now. He's still alive now in modern times. Did a Merlin like the physical body die? The physical body, yes. Okay. Now I know in the show, it, it's showing that he can keep his body alive. He, what I would consider him is like a phoenix. So the physical body died, but he was able to recreate it so like it, it's a new body each you know however long eight let's say 80 years every 80 years his body dies off and he can get a new one because he has a certain casting for it or a spell whatever you want to call it so he doesn't have to go through the whole birth and death process and you know yes. become a baby learn to walk and do all that stuff he just is boom here with his memories intact mm-hmm Damn it, that's like... And he, can, and he can change his form. So um, he can fit in with modern time. Oh, that is cool. And he consciously knows who he is, though. Yes. But he gives it a secret. Okay. So what continent is he on right now? Can't say. Can't or won't? Can't. Okay. Just asking, you know? Yeah. All right. I can't because they, they say it's it needs to say secretive. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. So let's go back to the Arthur part of the tale. Like this is just preliminary stuff. We can do go deeper into this. But yeah, legend. What's that? So it's a rabbit hole. I know it's so interesting though, isn't it? Yeah. Um. So. Merlin is still on Earth. Woof, that's exciting. So King Arthur is born. Um, he learns about society. He sees the wrongs and he wants to right the wrongs. And, you know, the big deal, the big deal about King Arthur is he formed the round table. So he took a special council of knights to help him rule the kingdom in a good way. Right. That's what he's yeah. known for. Is that a true story? Yes. Yeah. Okay. He, and now, the original round table was supposed to be for the good of people. Right. And then later on, once his death happened, it altered. So it was, it's no longer how, like good. Um, but at that point, it was supposed to be for the people, how to benefit the people, and how to right. protect right. as best as possible with what they had. Right. Okay. So he, he would bring in like the best of the best in each mm -hmm. kind of field yeah. if you will pick their brain get their ideas brainstorm and try to help the people and then again he was killed because they wanted something different so they manipulated him many of yeah. them okay there were some that were loyal but they manipulated him and killed him yeah. um now in the other in the legends they say of course he married guinevere who was so so beautiful blah 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 he was in love with her but she cheated on him with lancelot is that part of the story true that part is true and yeah. um she was more manipulative she wasn't really as good as one would say yeah i kind of figured that so she was probably yeah. sent in as a distraction which mm -hmm. it, it worked <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah so she was sending in to um distract him and get his secrets i'm sure right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so she was like a double agent 
Yeah. Yeah. Now, what happened when she, when he got killed, what happened to Guinevere? Well, she, so before she had, you know, this like contract per se, that she gives the information and they help her. Once he died, they didn't see a purpose for her anymore. Okay. Was so she kind of, she tried to go into hiding, but it didn't work. So, so they killed her. Yeah. Yikes. Okay. That's sad. Well, I mean, at the same time, she kind of, what is it? Dug her own grave, as yeah. they say. Never work for the dark side, guys. <laughs> you ne it never ends up well for you, right? Never ends up well. They're, they're dark. I mean, why wouldn't they try to hurt you? Like, I mean, common sense, people. <laughs> yeah, they're not no, loyal. Not bad, but... <laughs> they're not loyal. Okay, so um, so let's talk about another key player in the story or the legend. Okay, so Morgane, okay, was... Um, uh -huh. She's portrayed as evil, okay? Mm -hmm. So she is portrayed as evil and she's there to basically, you know, steal the secret. She uses witchcraft, she's dark, and she does mm -hmm. all this negative stuff to bring Arthur down. So she supposedly has his child, I think is the legend. I mean, there's different legends. And, but, and grooms him to become evil and kill Arthur. And that's the story that we're heard, okay? Yeah, that's the <laughs> Yeah. And that story is not true either. Right. We got to flip that. We got to flip that story around. So can you tell me what she was really like? Okay. So I don't know if you remember this, but years ago, I do. Yeah. <laughs> so years ago, I had this, I don't know if you want to call it epiphany, but I had a clarification that I have part of Morgana's soul. Okay. So I do have a very un deep understanding of what happens to her specifically. Um, so she was not evil. She was tired. She was hurt. She was done with how things were going. Um, now, Merlin was more on that secret, let me hide, let me help people as much as possible, but I never want anybody to know. Um, whereas she was, I don't want to hide anymore. I have this ability. Why am I hiding who I am to appease other people? Right. Um, so she was just done with it. And so they think of her as this negative being or person to kind of switch the role but she was really there to help people as much as possible and it got her killed okay so um you had told me that she was really like working with plants and herbs healing mm -hmm. and um she had quite a bit of energy slash power and, mm -hmm. and she was trying to basically flip the whole earth at the same time to switch yeah. the energy. And it basically didn't work. Yes. Because like I said, it, she she wanted it to be known that there was energy besides what people were being told. Yeah. And everybody thought witchcraft was this negative, nasty thing right. where it really isn't. I mean, yes, people can misuse it and make it dark, but it's actually a very beautiful thing. You're working with natural energy. Um, and she was, she was very powerful. Um, but because she had those abilities and it was for the good, um, it brought too much attention to her in a negative way. And so they got rid of her as soon as they could. So she could be killed. Yes. And she's she she's still around. She still has energy um, going, but they did kill her. Yeah. So I mean, you, anybody can be killed. I mean, their soul keeps moving forward okay. in different ways. Okay. Interesting. So basically they, you know, again, um, change the story to fit the narrative right mm -hmm. covered up all the nefarious deeds flip flop the char characters you know where they've maligned yeah. her 
when she was really trying to help the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And she, she was one that would do anything to, like there, like I said, the time was very tough for people. I mean, you had your wealthy, obviously, and you had the poor. There really was an in between. Yeah. Um, and there's more poor than anything, kind of like we are right now in this society. Um, and she would do whatever she could to help people. Um, just they painted a picture a certain way and right. That yeah. looks so she was maligned. Okay, so um we have the the story of the store sword in the stone, okay, mm -hmm. where King Arthur pulls a sword out of his stone and he becomes king. Everyone sees him do it. He was the only one that could. And Merlin had set that sword up, supposedly. Yeah. Is that a true story? That one is true, yeah. It wasn't natural. Okay. So he was the only one that could do it. All right. He was because, you know, there it, that part was a, a setup to make sure that they had somebody in power that was better yeah so okay it, it was i mean it was a setup but more on a healthier side because what if he didn't pull it okay okay so only someone with a certain vibration could pull that sword out uh he he set it up so it was specifically him yeah um but yeah, I guess if he didn't pull it out, then somebody with a high vibrational pattern would be able to get it. Something that was of good. Okay. Um, but nobody negative would be able to have that position because if somebody negative had that position, it would get a lot worse. And okay. history now would probably be a lot different than it was, than it would really? be. Really? Yeah. I mean, think about it. I mean, you have a pivotal point in history where we're going with, you know, these different energy sources and we're going from you know more on that negative side to a little bit lighter somebody else that's more negative is going to take over if they have an opportunity especially yeah. if there's already killings happening for you know yeah. specific things yeah so if you have something that's darker than what we already have it's not going to get better more yeah. people would have died off um i mean it's it's history itself isn't really good but it would have gone worse if he didn't get it interesting yeah yeah it makes sense now that you say that so um what i liked ab about the merlin show that i've talked about and watched several times <laughs> i think it's on netflix or one of those channels is that merlin was a secret and he had to overcome lots of challenges to remain secret he always helped to the best of his knowledge and ability and mm -hmm. in this show of course he had limited powers but um and they had all sorts of creatures that they fought and all that but i like the fact that they portrayed him as young and arthur didn't know who he was because i feel that was true because yeah. like again in the, in, in the vision or the um legends we see him as a really old guy you know in a pointed cap with glasses and a beard that yeah wasn't true and arthur yeah. was you know didn't look the same way either but it's very interesting to see how it's portrayed another mm -hmm. good um book series that i read about merlin years ago was um by mary stewart the crystal cave trilogy and it is fiction but very interesting stuff and it shows again mm -hmm. a, a man that was trying to help the people he had to do it in secret he did mm -hmm. a lot of stuff behind the scenes that people didn't know about so that was a cool book yeah. yeah yeah most of the ones that are you know fictional have more accurate detail yeah than ones of you know yeah nonfiction. yeah so this is a controversial story i know and we're going to get a lot of yes. comments and questions and people claiming this and that so Bring it on. Let us know. And we're going to probably go in a little deeper next time. But I thought we would get this out there and just, you know, put it out and see what questions people had and about the story itself. And yeah. Um, yeah. Anything else you want to talk about at this moment? With this? All right. Thank you. Right. Just ask whatever you guys want to know. Yeah. Yeah. Go from there. Yeah, because I mean it's a fascinating story, and we're look at we're talking about it 
still now. And we're still yeah. curious and interested. Like, so it's a love story. And then we've got the 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 romance of the magic part. And then we've got mm -hmm. the castles and the kingdom and the royalty. But you exactly. got to think way, way back then, people were really poor. They lived in like thatched huts. They had, you know, it was all muddy and nasty. They weren't allowed to really own property. They worked mm -hmm. for the, the king. And they were given food and protection by the king for their labor. And it was like very, um, like killing someone really didn't mean much. If you didn't pay your taxes, they'd throw you in jail for the rest of your life. It, there was no justice for the common person. Yeah. So, wow. All right. Well, thank you, Deanna. Appreciate your time. Of course. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.